Session, I ask unanimous consent. The Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of H. Conrad's 24, expressing the sense of the Congress that the report of Special Counsel Mueller should be made available to the public and to Congress, and which is at the desk. Further, that the concurrent resolution be agreed to, the preamble be agreed to, and the motions to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Is there objection? Serving the right to object. <clears throat> As I said just a few moments ago, it's uh, certainly good news for the country that the special counsel concluded that there is no evidence that the Trump campaign collaborated or conspired with the Russian government to influence the last presidential election. It's also good news for the country that due to the special counsel's work, we now have more insight into Russia's efforts to interfere with our democratic institutions. Now, I've consistently supported the proposition that the special counsel should be allowed to finish his work without interference. The work of the special counsel, however, is not yet complete. Neither is the work of the Department of Justice. The Attorney General told us yesterday that he's working with the special counsel to determine how much of the special counsel's report can be produced without violating the law and without jeopardizing other ongoing matters, including other matters initiated by the special counsel. The special counsel and the Justice Department ought to be allowed to finish their work in a professional manner. Now, my good friend, the Democratic leader, was all for allowing the special counsel to conduct his work without political interference when it might be politically advantageous to him. But apparently, my friend from New York is not for allowing the special counsel to complete his work with the Justice Department according to his best professional and legal judgment when that might be inconvenient to my friend's own current political purposes. To date, the Attorney General has followed through on his commitments to the Congress. One of those commitments is that he intends to release as much information as possible I certainly welcome that commitment to transparency, as do others. But to the extent that the Attorney General, in consulting with the special counsel, believes it is important to protect, protect sensitive sources and methods, protect material that could affect ongoing investigations and prosecutions, and is legally protected, then he deserves the time to work through these issues. So I'm going to object in order to allow the special counsel and the Justice Department to finish, to finish their careful professional review of a no doubt voluminous record, a record that likely contains sensitive, classified, and legally protected material. For all of those reasons, Mr. President, I object. Mr. President. The objection is hard. Mr. President, I'll be brief. Minority leaders recognize. The resolution does not say it has to be done immediately. The resolution does not, does certainly allows for the Attorney General to make sure that nothing is released that violates the law. All it says is it ought to be released. It is hard to understand why the majority leader wouldn't be for that resolution. None of his objections, none are in the words of the report. In fact, the words of the report are very simple. It should a sense of the Congress that it should be released. Not when, not in violation of the law, not in a hurried matter, just be released. So I'm sort of befuddled by the, at least the majority leader's reasoning in this regard, because it is not in the words of this resolution. Yield the floor. Majority leader. The country and the president have had to wait for two years. It's been going on for two years. This very extensive investigation took two years to be concluded. So look, it's not unreasonable to give the special counsel and the Justice Department just a little time to complete their review in a professional and responsible manner. Remember, as I said earlier, we're likely dealing here with potential other prosecutions, classified information, 
damaging people's reputations? There's no evidence that the Attorney General is not going to produce as much information as possible for all of us. And that's why I objected. I think it's a reasonable uh, thing to do. We've been waiting for a long time for this uh, report to wrap up. It's largely good news, not just for the president, uh, but for the country. Mr. President. Minority Leader. Again, this language was good enough for every Republican in the Senate, as well as every Democrat. The president himself says it should be released. It's hard to understand why the majority leader should stand alone with objections no one else found to be reasonable or sustainable and oppose this resolution. The report should be made public and the Senate should resolve that it should be. I yield the floor.